In Monster Hunter, if you take on quests and read the descriptions, oftentimes the quests you'll be taking on are given by the guild or the locals nearby. You can either be on a quest slaying or capturing monsters, or gathering materials such as special mushrooms, or carrying giant eggs. However, some people who have been playing Monster Hunter for a while noticed something. They've noticed how there was a strange man who keeps reappearing in the quest descriptions in numerous Monster Hunter titles, and the quests given by him are oddly suspicious. Other people would begin to notice this, bringing countless discussions online. With only a few vague pieces of information, the man in red remains a shrouded mystery in Monster Hunter. There are 5 generations of Monster Hunter as of this recording, and with each Monster Hunter generation comes with a few Monster Hunter titles. Some titles are only released in Japan, the rest are spin-offs and long-running series like Monster Hunter Frontier. But for now, we'll just focus on these titles. Scarlet Mystery Man is, well, a mysterious figure in Monster Hunter. There's not much information about him in-game, nor in physical books like in Monster Hunter encyclopedias. It's such an ominous character that reappears so often in-game that it sparked my curiosity. As for Scarlet Mystery Man, his name can be found way back since the first generation of Monster Hunter. This would all begin in Monster Hunter G which is a Japan exclusive game for the PlayStation 2, and it is the expansion of the original Monster Hunter game. In one of the seven star key quests in Monster Hunter G, Scarlet Mystery Man would request the hunter to hunt down two flying wyverns, Rathalos and Rathian, in the Forest and Hills map. Here's a screenshot of the quest description that I found on Wiki, and I also Google translated it. It's not the best translation, but you get the gist of it. Here's another quest given by Scarlet Mystery Man. It's an urgent quest to unlock the 8 star quest in the guild hall. Hunters will be hunting down two flying wyvern subspecies, Azurathalos and Pink Rathian, in the same map, Forest and Hills. The last information that I found online, in one of the 8 star quests, Scarlet Mystery Man will ask hunters to hunt down two black gravios in the old volcano. Luckily, a year later, Capcom releases another Monster Hunter game called Monster Hunter Freedom. The content of this Monster Hunter title is based on Monster Hunter G. However, the game doesn't include all of its features. Although in here, we can finally read the quest descriptions of Scarlet Mystery Man that's been decently translated in English. Rathalos and Rathian to take both at the same time. You must be very powerful. Hunters, can you kill these beasts? The Pink Rathian and Azur Rathalos have been seen outside the area. I want you to slay them. Can you conquer the ultimate quest? I hear hunting in the volcanic belt is very difficult. Earlier, I spotted two Gravios there. Based on the quest descriptions, Scarlet Mystery Man seems to be testing the hunter's hunting capabilities with all these threatening monsters. But why? Why is he testing the hunter's skills? Not long after, his name would make an appearance again in the quest descriptions of the second generation. Moreover, this would also be the time where his quests will get quite suspicious in the fragmented lore of Monster Hunter. If we take a look at Scarlet Mystery Man's quest in Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, 
which is the western release of Monster Hunter Portable 2nd G, two of Scarlet Mystery Man's quests involve hunting down two powerful black dragons. To some of you who aren't familiar with the black dragons, basically, in the lore of Monster Hunter, black dragons are known to be powerful monsters. As for the Hunter's Guild, the central governing association of Monster Hunter, they don't know enough about the black dragons to even research them. They are simply extremely rare and extremely dangerous, which makes it difficult for researchers to try to learn more about it. Hence, there are no documents or any form of material to go by about these black dragons. It's an ancient tale told by an NPCs and passed down from generation to generation. All of them are hidden away as monsters of legend. Which makes it so odd how Scarlet Mystery Man knows the forthcoming of these black dragons. One of the black dragons are Crimson Fatalis, a powerful black dragon that resides in the harsh volcanic region. In Freedom Unite, the volcanic region would be called the Battleground, which is the back-end location of the volcanic belt. It appears the time has finally come. The bloodstained scales of the red dragon have graced the earth again in flaming glory. If you can stop this beast. Besides that, Scarlet Mystery Man prepares an arena for the hunters to hunt down two Rajangs. It's an extremely violent fanged beast that's capable of using electricity based attacks. There are two Rajang, each with golden fur. Hunters, I have prepared a special stage for your grandest performance. Demonstrate your true power. <laughs> Till this day, a lot of old world hunters could never forget this terrifying quest. Lastly, Scarlet Mystery Man would tease the hunters to hunt down another black dragon, called White Fatalis. White Fatalis, also known as Old Fatalis, is another powerful black dragon in the old world of Monster Hunter. Unlike Crimson Fatalis, this black dragon has the ability to use and summon red lightning storms. Hunters would go and hunt this monster on top of the ancient tower. <laughs> the time has finally come. Here's your invitation to the ball. Wear your Sunday's best and bring your greatest weapon. For it is time to go to the dance with the King of Disaster. Scarlet Mystery Man would also make an appearance on the quest descriptions of the third generation. Similar to the second generation, Scarlet Mystery Man would yet again request hunters to hunt down powerful black dragons as well as rare species known in-game. In the high rank 6 of Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, Scarlet Mystery Man would come again and ask hunters to hunt down both the rare species of Rathalos and Rathian in the Misty Peaks. Tonight will be our festival, but rumors are spreading that two monsters will appear. We don't want our festival to be cancelled because of this. Please, seek those monsters. Upon reading his quest description, I can assume that this was the time where the Yukumu village is celebrating its festival. In one of the event quest descriptions of Monster Hunter Portable 3rd, one of the quests involve around hunting down the super version of Amatsu. I've already made a video about Amatsu and how it nearly destroyed the Yukumu village but basically, Amatsu is a powerful monster that can produce terrifying storms, massive tornadoes, and water beams from its mouth. The end of the world is here. The legendary dragon, Amatsu Magatsuchi, approaches. It creates huge hurricanes to destroy the village. Hunter, if there's a possibility, slay him right away. In the other event quest, hunters would be requested to hunt down the super version of Alatrion. Alatrion, also known as the Blazing Black Dragon, is another powerful black dragon similar to the ones that I mentioned a while ago. What makes Alatrion so strong is how it can wield multiple elements such as dragon, fire, ice, thunder, 
and water, which is discovered later on. Gentlemen, it's time for the ultimate test. A black dragon will appear in front of you. The Elatrion. Don't be scared, even though he is a powerful ancient dragon. Wisdom will win the battle. Scarlet Mystery Man's quests in Monster Hunter 3rd Ultimate is no different from Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. Hunters would be taking on both the rare species of Rathalos and Rathian. Foolish hunters, the feast is at hand, and you shall be the guest of honor. Succumb to the rhythm, and you may yet survive this night of madness. But beware, tonight, the moon drinks blood. And two kinds of quests hunting down the black dragon Elatrion. Why must hunters always seek the most difficult trials? Does their greed conquer their common sense? No matter, you wish a challenge? You shall have one. Arm yourself for a purifying trial with an Elatrion. I've been waiting, hunter. Now comes your final challenge. Elatrion, a dragon of darkness and light. Can mere mortal tell an elder dragon feared even by the gods? Don't even bother saying your prayers. Scarlet Mystery Man's quest appearance is an obvious pattern at this point. Once hunters reach the end game, he then challenges hunters to slay the black dragons or any known powerful monsters. His quest would appear either on the highest ranks or event quests of Monster Hunter. After some time, Scarlet Mystery Man also made an appearance on the fourth generation of Monster Hunter. And by appearance, I mean... Your trial is at hand, Hunter. It is said that the Dalamadur can pierce the edges of the sky. Will its presence embolden or terrify you? Soon we shall find out. The heavens conspire against mankind when the golden moon and silver sun collide. A new door shall open. Arise, bold hunter, and see your deeds forever etched in the constellations. The Scarlet Terror has come out of hiding. Will you stand against it, hunter? The end of our story has yet to be written, after all. The time has arrived. Look, the scales of red adorn the crimson dragon. The final stage has been set, Hunter. Go out and greet the face of death itself. A few years later, Scarlet Mystery Man would also make an appearance on the quest descriptions of Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. I've got something special whipped up for you today. Two Rajangs sporting shiny gold coats. Hope you're ready to give them all you've got, cause they don't know how to go easy on anybody. The time is ripe. We're having a large banquet tonight. Come forth, you reckless hunters. The moon demands fresh blood. Do what you can to survive this night of madness and revelry. Long time no see, hunters. I've prepared a test for you all. This day, your opponent is an Alatrion, which will emerge victorious in battle. You or the beast feared by the very heavens themselves. Ho ho ho, the time is ripe, the hour has come. Now the party begins and we must all dance, dance, dance. Put on your best armor, pick your best weapon, and greet your partner. Don't forget to bow. <laughs> it's come, the time has come. Not to mention the dragon. Its scales are steeped in blood. It leaves hellfire in its wake. Hunter, if you think, you can stop it. 
then now is the time to give it a whirl. There is nothing left to say. If you wish to claim the title of the strongest hunter, you must come forth and forge your own path to glory. Destiny waits for no one, Hunter. In the fifth generation of Monster Hunter, the first Monster Hunter title introduced is Monster Hunter World, one of the most ambitious Monster Hunter title the Monster Hunter team has ever done. I've read through each of the quest descriptions to see whether Scarlet Mystery Man has given a quest to the hunters, and upon checking each of the quests, Scarlet Mystery Man was never found. And because of that, I ended up reading through each of the quest descriptions in Monster Hunter World Iceborne, the expansion title of Monster Hunter World. Went through each of the quest descriptions, including the event quests. However, Scarlet Mystery Man was never found. Even on the quest that was most likely to be given by him, Rajang, Coldrathian, Silverathalos, Alatrion, Fatalis, none of them are requested by Scarlet Mystery Man. But why? What could have happened to him? In July 10, 2020, Gaijin Hunter posted this tweet, curiously thinking if Capcom would decide to add Scarlet Mystery Man as part of the lore in the final title update of Iceborne. Obviously, we already know Scarlet Mystery Man wasn't added in the game. However, someone replied under Gaijin Hunter's tweet. After you defeat Alatrion, there's an interesting dialogue with a third fleet chief. After looking up the dialogue of the third fleet master, Here's what the third fleet master said. But just before we set sail home, a group of, how shall I say, self-important people showed up. They're the type that fear the old gods, and they came with a warning for us. Stay ignorant of what true fear is, one said. There are things better left unknown, said another. On my way back, that's all I could think about. Just light the flame burn it all. But what would burning anything accomplish if the flame was to be lit? Hmm, things really are taking an interesting turn. Yes, a fervent turn. Although it is unclear whether or not this conversation with the third fleet master is connected to Scarlet Mystery Man. Self-important people could just mean a bunch of people who refused to believe a monster like Alatrion could have existed. As I've mentioned earlier, these monsters are, if not, mere legends. Scarlet Mystery Man is certainly one of the most enigmatic characters in the Monster Hunter series. It's uncertain whether or not he's helping the hunters or he's just using them as entertainment. Based on the observation that we've gotten on this quest descriptions, Scarlet Mystery Man has a questionable amount of knowledge with regards to the Black Dragons. More often, these types of information are concealed by the guild or unknown to the guild. But what about Scarlet Mystery Man's backstory? As of this recording, there hasn't really been any concrete information about the origins of Scarlet Mystery Man. However, during the ninth episode of the Third Fleet podcast, Bandino, who is a well-known Monster Hunter researcher in the Monster Hunter community, he shared a bit of interesting information about Scarlet Mystery Man. I mean, not much is really known. All we know is that about a thousand years ago, he tells us to send it on, on Shred, and basically, oh, well, it turned that place into its own personal nest, and it didn't leave any survivors, at least as far as we know. But this interesting thing was, around around the time that Fatales appeared, 
least a couple of months before it appeared, a person with a mysterious person in a red cloak appeared in front of the king. And he actually, seemingly, he kind of was like a force. He kind of foretold or was like an omen for Vitalis' is coming. Is that the, is that the scarlet um, clothed man? The scarlet robed yep. man? Yep, that's a freaky thing is he appeared a thousand years ago, yet in game we still get quests from him to this very day. With that said, it is no wonder why Scarlet Mystery Man strangely knows a lot about the Shrade Kingdom and Fatalis. After researching a bit more about the Shrade Kingdom and Fatalis, I found a short fairy tale known as The Legend of the Black Dragon. This can be read in Monster Hunter Freedom and Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. In the Hunter's Trivia, Hunting Life, a monthly magazine for hunters. It's an interesting fairy tale, although it wasn't mentioned who wrote it. So I had to look it up. And what I've got is this fairy tale was written by a poet clad in red. Could that be Scarlet Mystery Man? Some of you may be familiar with it already, but here's what it says. Hasn't there been a song stuck in your head? A song sung by children all across the land. A song with soul sung diligently in the streets and in the alleys. What is that song? The Legend of Death. Death by a giant wyvern has been revived. It is the Legend of the Black Dragon. Everyone should know it, as it is based on a famous fairy tale. However, I think the fact that everyone is singing this song is actually a sign. They say children are always the first to foretell the changing of the world. They are said to have special sense for these kinds of things. I have gathered as much information as I could from the corners of this world, and I have told those who should be told. However, no one believes me. This is why I have begged for a few pages in the hunting life. Explain the legend to all who care to learn. The legend of the black dragon is said to exist everywhere. And while there are changes in the lyrics depending on the location, the content of the song is the same. So please, understand that the lyrics printed below are representative of the song as I know it. The lyrics may be different where you are located. The Legend of the Black Dragon When the world is full of wyverns, the legend is revived. Meat is eaten, bone is crunched, and blood is sucked up dry. He burns the earth and melts through iron. He boils the rivers and mows down trees. He awakens the winds and lights an inferno. He is called Fatalis, the wyvern of destiny. He is called Fatalis, the wyvern of destruction. Call for help, run for your lives, and don't forget to pray to the skies. He is called Fatalis, the wyvern of destiny. He is called Fatalis, the wyvern of destruction. Fatalis, Fatalis, heaven and earth are yours. Fatalis, Fatalis, heaven and earth are yours. It is a terrifying fairy tale. No other character could have created this besides the one who truly knows about Fatalis. You can also hear this being sung in what I think is in Monster Hunter language as you hunt down Fatalis. Even with all this information, we're still left with a lot of questions. There have been a few theories bounced around in the Monster Hunter community on who Scarlet Mystery Man is and how he managed to have lived for so long. After exploring some social media platforms, finding theories about Scarlet Mystery Man, I've found some theories that are humorous, like Scarlet Mystery Man is basically Santa Claus, or he is Dante all along in Devil May Cry games, and some theories could be onto something interesting. Let's go through each one of them. One of the theory online suggests that Scarlet Mystery Man 
may not be a single person. Instead, the reason why hunters have been receiving quests for the past few Monster Hunter titles is because Scarlet Mystery Man could be passing down his mantle and information from one person to the next. Simply put, Scarlet Mystery Man has a successor. Logically, this would make sense on how Scarlet Mystery Man still manages to give quests for so long. But why would he do that? Who does he pick as a successor? Shouldn't he give the info to the guild instead? There's a lot of rabbit hole questions from this theory. So I'll leave it on to you watching this video. Another theory shared online suggests that Scarlet Mystery Man is involved in the creation of the guild. It is speculated that he is once a guild knight, interestingly enough that these knights are wearing a red uniform, or he was once a higher ranking official from the guild. This somewhat explains why he has a significant amount of knowledge as to where are some of the powerful monsters are. Continuing on this theory, there's this strange, unobtainable item that can be found on Monster Hunter G. It is called Guildmaster's Earrings. Kaijin Hunter expanded on this during the Third Fleet podcast with Rurikon and Bandino. What, one thing that was really interesting, and you guys, I, it's funny I even mentioned this because I hate data mining, and it's something that I've always hated, but there was someone who data mined Monster Hunter G, like the original like PlayStation 2 game like way back when, and there was an item that you couldn't get in the game that was still in the data um, called uh, it was it was called the Guildmaster Earring. And the description says an earring given by a founding father of the guild by the mysterious Scarlet Man. So they were hinting that the, the mysterious Scarlet Man was involved with the creation of the guild itself. So I think it's Tsujimoto. I, I have to assume it's a joke at this point, but there's no hint whatsoever of who this character is. Ha. Huh. I actually didn't know that. <laughs> it's a strange connection between the two, but it adds more mystery to who Scarlet Mystery Man is and what's his connection to the guild. There's also a crazy theory suggesting Scarlet Mystery Man could be the human incarnation of Crimson Fatalis. Based on the colors dressed up, and every quest could just be as well a challenge for hunters to fight him. This theory is a bit of a stretch. The problem with this theory is that Scarlet Mystery Man predates Crimson Fatalis. He also tends to post different quests and there's no indication that monsters like these can take on a human form in Monster Hunter. Although there's an alternate theory explaining how some monsters can possess or resonate with other beings. A few days ago, while I was making this script, there was a post on Reddit theorizing Scarlet Mystery Man could have some sort of Wyvarian linking connection to Fatalis, similar to the situation of the two Wyvarians, Minoto and Hinoa in Monster Hunter Rise, where Hinoa was resonating with Ibushi and Minoto with Narwa. Both of these monsters would communicate with each other plotting a catastrophe. It's an interesting theory, but it's unclear if Fatalis could even do such a thing, although it does tick some of the questions that we have on Scarlet Mystery Man. Like, how did Scarlet Mystery Man manage to live for such a long time and still provide quests? There's a possibility that he's an old wandering Wyvarian. Another question would be, how did Scarlet Mystery Man manage to pinpoint the forthcoming of the rare species monsters and other black dragons. He could have been possessed or he could be resonating with some of the powerful monsters, thus gaining the knowledge. Nevertheless, these are just a few theories that we have on Scarlet Mystery Man. There's a lot more left unanswered. We can be constructing a thousand theories about Scarlet Mystery Man. He's such an eerie character that's been reappearing in almost every Monster Hunter title. As of this recording, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak isn't complete yet, and I'm quite curious if he's ever going to show up in one of the quest descriptions in that game. 
I'd be hoping too much if he manages to reveal himself. The setting in Sunbreak is already about a fallen kingdom. I'd love to know your theory on Scarlet Mystery Man. Maybe we can piece something together. But for now, he remains a mystery in Monster Hunter. A Scarlet Man waiting in the shadows to meet your demise.